Kupa. Good morning everyone. Today I've just got a nice short wake up your body routine for you that you can do every morning if you wish. It would be a good thing if you did. Nice to do before you go for your walk and it's to open up your lungs and just generally wake up your body. We're going to start with nice, easy, big shoulder rolls. Make sure you don't hold your breath when you do this, so you can breathe in when you go up, and you can breathe out when you go back and down. And breathe in as you go up, and breathe out as you go back and down. One more like this, and then we're going to go the other way. So you breathe in as you go back and up, all the way up to your ears, and forward, and back, and up. And again, breathe in. Breathe out, and one more, breathe in, and out, then just to um, loosen up your neck, circles with your nose, going round, and then gradually making the circles nice and big, all the way round, and then circle the other way, start off quite small, and then get bigger, and bigger and all the way around and then come to the center you're standing with your feet quite hip width apart and you're up really nice and tall and now you're going to breathe in and take your arms right up over your head you can look up if your neck will allow you and breathe out and bring your arms down to your sides and another one a nice big breath in hold it for a second up there and breathe out and come down. And again, breathe in, opening up your lungs, and breathe out and now out and out and out and out as much as you can, all the air right out of your lungs. And now I must just look and see what the next thing I've got for you. Ha! The next thing is going to be marching on the spot. This is just to get your heart rate up a little bit and your blood flowing. So you can do do a gentle march with your feet just coming off the floor and as you warm up you can lift your knees higher and really swing your arms. Make sure you're breathing, lifting your knees up, you're thinking of pressing the crown of your head up as high as you can so your spine's nice and long, your belly's in and your knees going right up. Swinging the arms, getting your circulation going, might elevate your heart rate up a little bit. Just a few more, taller, and then gradually relax. Right, the next thing we're going to do is to work a little bit on your balance, and it also helps working your core, your abdominal muscles. You need just a wall or a chair or something to hold on to. Make sure if it's a chair, it's not going to be too wobbly. Hold on with one hand, and then the opposite foot you can lift just off the floor. You can keep your toes on the floor if you have to. You can lift a little bit higher or you can lift all the way up and hold on to it. As you're standing here, feel the connection between the tops of your thighs to help your balance. And you can either just balance with your fingertips holding onto something or you can take your hand off, growing really tall, your belly in, shoulders down, spine long, and then gradually come out of it. And to change legs, other side, either just your toenails on the floor, or a little bit higher, or all the way up, and pulling your knee into your chest. Find your balance, feel the connection between the tops of your thighs, belly in, and then when you're ready, take your hand off, and just hold on. If you need to just put your fingertips down again, that's fine. You'll find if the more you do this, the better you will get at it. Just two more breaths here. And then gently out of it. Now you're going to put both hands on the wall or on a table or on your chair. Your feet hip width apart. Take your nose over your toes. Belly in. You can squeeze your bum gently. And we're going to do heel raises. Up and down. Up and down. Okay, here you've got to make sure that you're not leaning back so you're not pushing your hips forward like this as you go up and down, that your belly is in, 
and your nose is over your toes, so you go straight up and down. And squeeze your bum, belly in, and fingertips just lightly on the surface in front of you. If you're feeling that you're nicely on balance, you can take your hands off, and you can feel your calves working now, you can feel your hamstrings working. It's very good for your ankles, for your feet. Make sure your belly stays in. Squeeze your sitting bones together. And just 10 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax. Face away from the wall now. And just to loosen up your spine, this is very easy. Just swing your arms around your body from side to side. Take your head and look gently over your back shoulder as well. Just a nice gentle swing, warming up your spine. Get your shoulder joints going a little as well. One more on each side. And relax. Back to facing your surface. You're going to take your one foot quite close to the wall or the chair and your other foot out behind you. Both feet are parallel. Bend your front knee and straighten your back leg as much as you can. Now as you breathe out you're going to push your front knee forward and press your back heel into the floor. To refine it a bit more Try and tuck your tailbone under a little bit. What we're aiming for here is a nice good stretch in your calf. And then as you tuck under, you're getting a stretch down the front of this hip as well. And possibly into your quad. So up nice and tall, belly in. Push your front knee forward. Press your back heel. So you're making the distance between your front knee and your back heel as long as possible. Take two more breaths. and change legs. So your front foot facing straight forward, your back foot away from you. Straighten that back leg as much as you can. Tuck under a little bit. So your tailbone is trying to face down to the floor, not up in the air. Your belly in, your shoulders down. You can push your hands into the wall here as well. Now as you breathe out, push your front knee forward and press your back heel away. Shoulders down. Nice calf stretch. Belly in. Front knee pushing forward. It's also working this front quad a little bit. So it's very good general all-round exercise to do. Go two more breaths. And coming up out of it. Next, you're going to put your hands on your shoulders and you're going to breathe in, touching your elbows together, and then breathe out and just squeeze your elbows back and lift your chin slightly. I'll stand sideways so that you can see. You're going to breathe in, rounding your back, pulling your shoulder blades apart, and then you're going to breathe out and squeeze your shoulder blades back, just getting a nice stretch across your chest. Do two more of these, breathe in, drop your nose down, and breathe out and lift your nose up. And breathe in, drop your nose down, and breathe out, elbows back. Right, then there's big reaching up, breathing movements we did at the beginning of the class, we're going to go again, so feet, hip width apart, take a nice big breath in, open your lungs, hold it for a second, and a nice long breath out. Two more of these, a nice big breath in, and a long breath out, and the last one, big breath in, and long breath out, and good luck with that. I hope you do it quite often, and enjoy the rest of your day.